First, why did you choose to attend SFA? Um, this is actually the only school with my major. I'm an orientation and mobility specialist, and this is the only undergrad program, like I said, in the nation. The rest are just master's programs. So I was kind of like set here from the beginning. <laughs> Um, I came to SFA primarily because of the social work program and because it was exactly where I wanted to be away from home. It wasn't too far, wasn't too close, um, and it was just a beautiful campus. So those are kind of my top three reasons why I came to SFA. I chose to go to SFA because it was the first school I toured and I fell in love with it immediately. I'm so glad I did because SFA has given me um, everything I needed to go out into the real world and make a difference and I'm very proud of that. How did you get connected with St. Mary's Catholic Campus Ministry? I knew that I wanted to go to Mass on Sundays, and so I showed up the first Sunday, and I was like, well, this is where I'll be every Sunday. <laughs> it's the only Catholic church I could walk to. <laughs> Basically, I knew that I was going to be coming to Mass, and so when I came for a campus tour, we just asked where the Catholic church was, and we got pointed in this direction. Um, and then after my first night, or my first Mass here, we were invited to a Sunday night dinner, and it kind of just spiraled <laughs> uphill from there. <laughs> That's really a funny story. I was in a uh, uh, political science class and I sat in the back row because uh, it was my first semester um, here and I was very nervous and so I sat in the back and it just so happened that Austin and Powers, uh, two members that go to St. Mary's, happened to sit next to me. And for like uh, the cu first couple of weeks, you know, we just just talked because we were just classmates. Then I guess Powers noticed I was wearing a, a crucifix across. And uh, he's like, hey, are you Catholic? And I said, yeah. And he's like, do you go to St. Mary's? And I went to Sacred Heart at the time. Um, I, I didn't know St. Mary's was around. And he's like, you, you gotta come, you gotta join the Knights of Columbus. I'm like, what's that? <laughs> so uh, initially, I just, you know, kind of ignored him and refused. But Powers was so persistent in Austin, and I'm like, okay, you know, I'll just give it a try. And literally, ever since then, I have been. Uh, um, coming to St. Mary's, I am involved in the Knights of Columbus, and I'm a third degree. Um, and I'm, I thank Powers and Austin, seriously, to this day, um, that they have, uh, their persistence made me come to St. Mary's. What impact has St. Mary's had on you personally? Um, I think the biggest impact, it's, it's had two big impacts on me. Um, the first is that it's allowed me to receive the sacraments regularly. So prior to this, I was more of a Sunday Mass goer, and now I go to adoration, I go to confession, I go to Mass on a daily basis. So it's really allowed me the opportunity to regularly go and receive those sacraments. And the second thing it um, has taught me is authentic relationships. I have a lot more authentic friendships than I have in the past, um, and we've just grown to a deeper level deeper level um, due to that friendship in Christ. So. <laughs> St. Mary's has had a world of impact. Um, St. Mary's pretty much meant the difference to me between staying here um, for the entirety of my education or transferring. Um, I was heavily considering transferring um, and then it was through the outreach of people at St. Mary's that, um, that kept me coming to SFA. Um, and it also has led me um, so much closer to Christ, um, so much closer to others, um, and has really had, enabled me to develop, um, even outside of the church, um, skills and opportunities um, for leadership and, and so much other stuff. St. Mary's has such a profound impact on me. Literally, I, uh, I went to a, I'm a cradle Catholic, I went to a private Catholic school, kindergarten through eighth grade. I was instilled in the teachings of Christ at a very young age, and I, I thought I knew him. I mean, I thought I knew pretty much all I needed to know. Uh, I came to St. Mary's, and I realized there are people that are so much more into their faith. There is so much more I could be doing. I didn't realize that. Um, as I leave college and as I'm graduating, I look back on my time, I can truly say that I truly found Jesus Christ through St. Mary's and through my time at SFA, and that's something that um, it's probably the best thing I ever can receive through college. Have you adopted any special devotions? I'm consecrated uh, to Mary. Um, I did the 33 days of morning glory. Um, and then to the two sacred hearts, I did that one as well. Yes, um, I have been consecrated to Mary for the past three years. And a really big devotion to me um, that I've had for the past two years is, um, is going to daily Mass. Um, I've pretty much been going to daily Mass every day for the past two years. I, I myself have consecrated myself to Mary. Uh, I did the 33 Days to Morning Glory. And just by going to daily Mass, um, I, I never 
I didn't know that was a thing, honestly, until I came here. Mm -hmm. Frequent confession is something that I made sure that I did through my time at St. Mary's, and um, just a, a good daily prayer life. And I've also prayed uh, multiple novenas at during certain points throughout the um, college years. So. Yeah, great. What are you planning on doing after graduation? I have a job in Kansas City uh, for the Children's Center for the Visually Impaired. I will be their full-time preschool orientation and mobility specialist. Great. After graduation, I am moving out to Mesa, Arizona to work for a Catholic organization called Maggie's Place. They provide homes of hospitality to pregnant homeless women. Um, so I will be living in the house with the women and, um, and helping them re work towards goals and work towards independence with their children. Fantastic. That's a good question. <laughs> um, so right now, I plan to go back to Dallas. I'm waiting for callbacks, but I uh, plan to go back to Dallas and hopefully work in the TV broadcasting industry. So. Okay. What's your dream job? Dream job would be to make inspiring videos um, for nonprofit organizations and for churches to, and to spread the gospel through videos and media. What else, if anything, would you like people to know about St. Mary's and your time here at SFA? Hmm. I guess just that St. Mary's is as much of a commitment as you want it to be. So you can get really involved in St. Mary's and you can be here every single day. All of your friendships can be based here, but you can also have like just regular friendships here. You can come here on Sundays and still have great friendships here. You can come here on Sundays just for mass. You can come every single day and receive meals, go to the Wednesday night dinners, etc. Um, and you're obviously going to get deeper involved and most of your friends will be from here. But it's really, it depends on your commitment. I think what made the biggest difference for me in getting involved at St. Mary's um, was the programs and was things like that, but more than that was our community members. Um, I would really tell anyone that was interested in coming and getting involved here um, to not be afraid to talk to them because they're one of the greatest assets that we have. I want people to know that St. Mary's is a, it's more than just a church. It's more than um, just a Sunday uh, place of worship. It's a community and it's a community full of people, of students, faculty, and volunteers who are here to help you grow in your faith and even if you just want to go to Sunday Mass that's fine that's awesome but I guarantee you if you if you get involved with St. Mary's it will change your life and you don't you might even you might not even know until you look back as you graduate and realize um, like most of your friends are from St. Mary's and just come get involved and I promise you won't be disappointed so. for those that are our benefactors those people that support St. Mary's um, what do you want to say to them and potential people that might think about supporting St. Mary's? What would you say? The reason people should give to St. Mary's is that this is the first opportunity we have to make a choice about our faith. Prior to this, it's our parents making the decision for us to go to Mass on Sundays. Um, but this is where we get to make that choice for ourselves. So without having good programs, without having the availability of the sacraments, without even being pretty, so to speak, as in taking care of the yard and stuff like that, you're not going to draw in as many people. Um, so it's important to give just so that people can develop in their faith. And, you know, that's how you save as many souls as you can sometimes. Um, well, first of all, to the benefactors that have been supporting us, thank you. Um, it's been through your generosity that has... Uh, that this all has happened um, in my life and in so many others um, and to people who are considering it um, this is I think a really great ministry because we are growing and so this is going to be something that you can see fruit in it's not going to be something that you're just giving money and you don't know what's happening with it um, you will see the growth first off I want to thank all the benefactors who have graciously given to St. Mary's we truly appreciate it um, thank you for all the Sunday dinners and um, for your dedication to the ministry. I would say, honestly, if you ask any person from St. Mary's community how much St. Mary's has impacted their lives, you would, you would see why giving to St. Mary's is needed and it would help grow our community. Um, St. Mary's has helped me personally, I know it's helped many other people, and by giving to St. Mary's we'd help grow and save souls on the rest of the SFA campus.